We're going to a little bit of an old school configuration. As a record crew takes the front line, Brandon Danger pushing all the way up to the front of the pivot line. Anita Raya again, hemmed up in the back. A Lord, Jeff Lowe Lovers, spinning by Brandon Danger. And she is Lee Jammer. Mary Egg Ashley's in for the front of the box of Tracta. They got her first penalty. Big hit there by Nick Victim on Anita. Brandon Danger calls off the jam. Four points for the Rumblers, zero for the crew. We saw in the first half, Whiskey Hangover taking the start. She started jamming, going for her team over the last year. Really helping her team out. And she battles Ryan Stone Caldwell. We got an official timeout. Looks like Bob Humbug calling a penalty. Looks like we have a late multi player block called on Tay Hostel. Which will put her in that box for her sixth trip. One more and she will foul out. It's one of the unique changes in the game. Theoretically, you get three penalties in one jam with it only having to sit 30 seconds. You got to be careful. Keep yourself out of the box. Yeah. Uncle Justin McNasty almost getting ran over as he calls a timeout. The lady decides to be a start. Nina Wright is the only blocker on the track at a time for the wrecking crew. With Kay Hostile, Mary Ashley. And Divine Madness in the penalty box. We're going to have a four on one pack advantage for the crew. Excuse me, pack advantage for the Rumblers. Now this has turned into an official timeout for the rest of the side. 